coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. I mean, if you've never tried this, you have to. And you can come down here and have a blast, meet new people, have a fun time, and just, well, take some light out of the sky. Hey, this week we do something a little bit different than we normally do. Um, just because we sort it's of, fun. it's fun. It's, it's fun a blast. And, and we like loose roll ups. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah, we're hunting snow geese in central yep. Illinois. With show me your snows. And uh, as usual, uh, but no, this probably was a little slower than last year. This was a little bit slower last year than last year, but we still got plenty of geese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've got lots to share with you. And I mean, it's really fun going down there. It's so different than what, like, you know, we usually deer hunt or do some big game. Big game. So us going goose hunting is just different. We you know we might do it once we, when we were doing North Dakota before, but now it's like the snow goose, it's just different. You know, you got the loud. It's that time of year when deer season's over. Yeah. No turkeys, no bears yet. And you still get time to go in the field and well, shoot some. Well, this week what we're doing is we are actually only heading about, about three hours south of our home here in Northwestern Illinois. We're going to, again, last year was our first year at Show Me Your Snows, and that's where we're heading. The snow geese are actually moving. Believe it or not, we have no snow, which is good from what we understand, because if there's snow, the birds are gonna stop before the snow. Well, with no snow, warmer weather, these birds are supposed to be up in the air and moving. So, we're loading up, today we're leaving, RJ has to stay in school, so he's going to miss one day, um, but Josh and RJ are going to cruise down just because of all the homework and schoolwork that he has going on. Uh, so Vicky and I, well, Vicky, I don't know what Vicky's doing. I'm loading up the truck as usual. I'm always doing that. Ralph loads up the van, which is specifically decked out for traveling with lots of gear, something the AC Media crew knows all too well. Hoping for lots of birds. Geared up for an exciting fast-paced snow goose hunt, Ralph and Vicky make the journey three hours due south to Havana, Illinois. The Cianzarillos are accustomed to often taking multiple flights or traveling for days on end to reach a destination. So the trip is a breeze and they arrive before they know it. Hey, good morning. It's early. It's o dark 30. Um, we're gonna head out, pick up some coffee. We're gonna go snow goose hunting with Show Me Your Snows. We did this last year. Once again, RJ has to be in school today, but he'll be back tomorrow. Actually, he'll be here tonight. And then we're all gonna head out, and um, well, actually, we're gonna head out now and go snow goose hunting. RJ will be here tonight, and then well, RJ and I, and Chad, and Freddie, and Josh will all also go tomorrow, but that's a lot, and I think I need some coffee. I'm just saying. All right, we'll follow We're in the leader. For it, no matter what, right, guys? The crew joins up with the guides and fellow hunters to make the short drive to their hunting spot. They unpack and are in the pit blind, ready to hunt before sunrise. The hunters are excited and ready as the sun begins to rise. Before the geese start to move, Riley, the guide, debriefs everyone. It's about two and a half to three seconds because all, all y'all shoot them, you stand up, aim and shoot it's, it's it's a motion nobody's in a big race these geese usually do not see us when we stand up to shoot so don't hurry up and race to shoot because that'll mess it'll mess up the rhythm if everybody gets it right and shoots at the same time it's just like a wall of steel that they they're just like 
they just came in and it's like a huge surprise and just wipes them out. Well, we're back in central Illinois, about three hours south. Huh? Of home. Of home. Yes. Yeah. Well, show me your snows. Show me your snows. And we showed you them last year yeah. and they showed us. And Riley, th he thinks it's even going to be better this year. I know. We got one attempts. It's earlier in the year. No snow almost anywhere. So they're definitely heading back up north. So we are going to hope that as this beautiful sunrise come up, it's actually legal shooting light right now. We just have to wait for the geese to show up. Riley's got all these gadgets out here. He's got. This guy's got more gadgets out of coming out of this pit blind. There's I got. Like, there's there's like things flapping. flapping around. He's got a speaker going off. I mean, he's got a little bit of everything. And then we have Freddy. Chad's right here. Freddy's out in the field somewhere. So our point today, our whole aim of today is to get us some snow geese, make some goose roll-ups when we get home, but also to shoot some geese and have them land on Freddy. That's the goal. There's a big flock of geese over there. You can hear them. Oh, he can hear a couple of miles away. <coughs> Over this he can't way. hear my voice. Selective. So selective, it's not even funny. We're coming this way, Vic. Right here, Chad. Look at that, honey. Isn't that cool? Got a bunch over in back of us, guys. They can't find a place to land. There's too many decoys. <laughs> Look out, fish. Boom. They just kept going around and around. There's more to the right, guys. That was, I mean, they kept coming over. They were just like right yeah. there. That one time I thought that one single one was going to come in and, and back up there just too far. Those guys down there just nailed three of them though. So we got three on the board. No, I, I don't. I don't have any. I didn't shoot. I didn't either, but that's okay. Look at all the <laughs> Can we take him? When you tell me to shoot, I'm freaking shooting. You don't understand something. This is all new to us. Well, I think it was closer at one point. Well, at one point. When he coming closer. closer, we're like, is he not the right one? Because <laughs> you didn't say shoot. So we're like, do we wait? Did he come out and yeah. swing and get right in your face. Yeah. Oh, was he? Yeah. You guys got to tell us because we don't know. I'm flinging arrows, man. I got arrows for free. It's day one of snow goose hunting with Show Me Your Snows. The hunters have already seen multitudes of geese and the action is just getting started. Here we got flocks coming over here. We're just out here to shoot. I, I gotta admit, we didn't shoot, we were too scared. <laughs> What's a penguin? The one you shot over I'm like, here. wait a minute, I didn't shoot a penguin, I'm shooting geese. I know penguins don't fly. Like, seriously? I did not. That's what I was afraid of. They're like, take them. I'm like, my God. Yeah, I'm going to take all your heads off your decoys. It's not going to look good. Where do we put them? The and this is my penguin. The they told me that's a beautiful bird. And that actually, if we're going to mount any, we should mount this one, is what they said. That is beautiful. Look at that. It's still warm. 
My first bird of the day. The pelicans? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. It's good to have guys in the blind that, that really know what the birds are because we're sitting there going, I don't is that is that a snow goose? What is that? Is it is it a blue? What is it? What is it? And then when you, when when the, when, when your Riley guy says yells, take, take him, him yeah. we're all like, oh. Yep. The guy's got a lot in common. We have a lot in common. Well, it's been a heck of a fun day, you know. I mean, we've seen a lot of birds, but we're, we're, we're learning from all the experts in the pit here, and they're all telling us, you know, what one thing is, you know, I mean, a lot of these birds have been shot at, so they really are really hesitant about coming down and checking things out. And when the ones that have done it, yeah, our boys have taken them out. So, I mean, that, that's what's so fun about it. I mean, if you've never tried this, you have to. Listen, deer season's over, everything's over, we're waiting for turkey, we're waiting for bear season, and you can come down here and have a blast, meet new people, have a fun time, and just, well, take some light out of the sky every once in a while. That's a pretty cool thing to do. And then Vicky's gonna take some home and make some goose roll-ups. And all the guys in the office are gonna love that. Here I sit on the computer, stuck in the office, waiting for RJ to get out of school so that he can come pick me up since he just got his driver's license and then we can drive down to meet them. They're out having fun. I'm stuck in the office. Now that school's out, RJ and Josh hit the road to meet up with the rest of the crew who is getting ready to call it a day. Well, we just wrapped up our first day with Show Me Your Snows. Yeah. And, I mean, we saw a pile of birds. They were pretty high, though. And, uh, you know... Some of them just didn't want to come play. No. No. But, but we have know, tomorrow. Yeah, we got all day tomorrow. And I'm going to tell you something. We're pumped. RJ's on his way with Josh, and we're just going to have another good day. Well, it's the second morning here with Show Me Your Snows and RJ's here. Yeah, today's, yeah, you don't have school, so we sort of Did skirted you? them out. Him and Josh drove down yesterday. Huh? Yep, last night, and now we have a new day, a new pit, new decoys, a new area, so who knows what's going to happen. Hey, the bottom line is we need to shut up and wait for the geese, and wait for the geese to fly, because that's why we're down here. It's crazy, all the, all the geese are getting up off the lake over here. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. You're all communicating, you're having fun, and, and I mean, it just, it's just a great opportunity. Plus, you are doing nature such a big thing. You're because, doing management. I mean, you know, those birds are eating themselves out of house and home up north, and I mean, the numbers are just outrageously, I mean, out of balance. Who shot that? Yeah. Two. Two of five. All right. 
This group's coming back to the right. They're coming back. Well, we got a big flock. And I'm going to tell you a couple things. They, they turn up those speakers to see if those birds can just start looking here. And once they look here, maybe you can get them to commit. You know, the other thing is that we've learned white or snow camel, absolute hats, great sunglasses. You need good sunglasses. Gloves, something to eat in the blind because you're in the blind all day long. A cushion, yeah. Cushions will help for sure. And I don't think that box coming in. You know, one of the things that Show Me Your Snows are, are, are very well known for, and that's the size of the spread. And it's what's crazy is when you, when you get that aerial stuff and you could see the visual of what these spreads look like right. that far up, hey, if I was a snow goose, I'm gonna land there. Don't I'm say sure. a word. <laughs> Don't say a word. I just, right when I said that, I knew I opened the door. I... No, just that. that. <laughs> White and red, put it together, that means dead. <laughs> Good shooting, guys. Hey, there's some more specks down here. Yeah. Behind, down here, coming from the south over the river, it's got snow geese in them, too. Okay. I'm gonna try and get them from there. I don't know, they might be out of my range. They're like, there's some geese, and then they start hitting the record button. Rah, rah. It's making all this noise. I can't see the geese until it's like on top of us. I don't know how they see them. I really don't. I, I have good eyesight. You married me. You can't have that good. <laughs> You know, you, you got to realize too that a lot of things that you're used to in a waterfowl season doesn't apply to your snow goose. Right. To your, it, well, snow goose hunting, there's no limit. Nope. So you're just shooting and filling no, your. You no know, plugs in nope. your gun. Yeah. You, I mean, you can use electronic calls. Because, like we said earlier, is, is I mean, they're eating themselves out of house and home right. up north, and, and they have to try to manage these numbers and get them down. And the only way of doing that is doing what they're doing. Right, and by doing that, what we're also doing is we're filling our feeders. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Roll up, baby. What a great way to get the family out, and even if you've never done it, listen to me. It's a minimal investment to take the family down there and to, to experience something all together you're sitting in you're sitting in the blind and in the pit. Sorry. Yeah, in the pit, and I mean you can sit there and chit chat, talk, talk, eat, drink coffee, whatever it is you want to do all day long. Absolutely. I mean, you know, just... and but once the geese are spotted, mm. then it's game on. Everyone's serious, and you're just waiting for them to say take them. That's it. It was a lot of fun. It was, and it you, you know, know hopefully to go back next year because. We sort of like those goose roll-ups. Yeah, I mean, we've got meat in the freezer. RJ came down there with us. We had a great time. And, you know, and he only missed one day of school. Yeah. One day yeah. Thank you guys, everyone down there at Show Me Your Snows, for having us come down there again this past spring. And thank you guys for watching. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.